Welcome to Corner Cake. I'm your host, Jonathan Jean-Pierre. So what's this game really about? Is it about teamwork or coordination? Not really. I think that the game is all about putting it in the net. So this week, to help you guys out, what I'm going to do is, you know, we started a brand new segment called How to Put the Ball in the Net. C'est sûr, faire une passe, c'est le, c'est le truc, le, le meilleur truc. Là. You put one in the net today. Yeah. What's your secret? My secret, that, that the goal was very good goal because the team make a lot of pass to make me in the, in the position to make the goal and that just shoot it in the, in the right place. Okay, so uh, I just wanted to talk about, uh, I've been asking people, what's been going through your mind as you're making the shot? You had a great penalty today and you put it away. What were you thinking about? Well, the first thing I think about is ball placement. I find that's the most important thing um, because if you don't have a good cushion, I don't know if you saw, but I was arguing with the referee to make sure that I didn't want the ball in the penalty spot because it's indented a bit. I want a little bit on the side. It's indented because of the uh, the paint or the... uh, Because of the AstroTurf. There's a little hole to mark the penalty spot. They put a little bit of fake grass on it, and it has kind of like a concave shape, which I find is not as good for, for the shot. It's not as flat. So that's the number one thing I think about. Second thing is uh, ball placement, definitely. Um, I never think about where the goalie's going. That's something that you can't determine from the beginning. So I just think about where am I going? Um, and I mean, you just look, focus, keep your eye on the ball, maybe take a few looks at extra spots to make the goalie think where, you know, he might anticipate you going, but you're going in the opposite direction. And you just take your shot and make sure you got a lot of pressure and uh, a lot of follow through. And always remember, if the ball doesn't go in, you're following through to get the rebound, if not. That's what I think about. It. Wow, that's uh, not a bad uh, <laughs> comment. I hope that's awesome. <laughs> Makes me think that I could pull it off. Oh, I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can. Just a lot of practice. So if you can turn a push into a motivation and go ahead and score a goal, that's the best way to answer back. All right. Uh, so Tony, you scored a couple goals tonight. Uh, I wanted to know where those goals were coming from and uh, what you're thinking of when you're making the shots. What was I thinking of? Well, same thing I'm always thinking is just put it on net. That's it. Just put it on net. And uh, cross your fingers, that's it. <laughs> cross your fingers. Um, any tips or is it uh, just put it on net, that's it? Uh, well, first of all, I just I try and make myself room to get the shot off. That's the most important thing. Uh, you know, like make a move to the side, try and get away from the defender and, and just let it fly, you know? Now, Nathan, you scored tonight. Uh, what was going on in your mind when you uh, were putting the goal in the net? Uh, I just... Uh, uh, I happen to be on the spot, yeah. and I try to kick it very hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome. And uh, so that gave you guys a goal for Ayuda. How does that feel then? Uh, no, no, no. It's actually, I scored for the other team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, d- conducted this interview then. This week we had the Division B All-Star Game. Let's talk to the MVP of the match, as well as the runner-up. Okay, you got the MVP for this All-Star game for Division Two. Why do you think, uh, what do you accredit that to? Uh, well, a lot of hard running on my part, and we had a great team going out. Lots of passing, and they made it easy for me, really. I got some good balls in, and I just had to put it into the net. Well, it was a good game. We saw all the good qualities, like uh, every other team. They had really good players, and um, it was a nice, friendly game, clean game, so it was good. Okay, and you came away with an award today. What, uh, what was that award? Uh, yes, I did. I won the first runner-up. So, uh, yeah, I was pretty surprised, but it's good. Yeah, awesome. it's very good. Congratulations. Cool. And uh, is that going on your mantle at home? Oh, it sure is, for sure. Definitely. But first, it's going to go to the Black Lion Pub, where we're all supposed to go drink afterwards. Uh, so it's going to be good times, and I uh, hope everyone shows up. Can you tell me what the specialties are uh, at the Black Lion Pub? Like, what's the main thing that you guys are uh, focusing on? Well, um, we like to focus on good times. we got big screen TVs. we got four of them. And then we got 14 different beers on tap and various bottled beers as well. So there should be something for everyone to drink there. Awesome. Lots of uh, imports as well? Most of it's imports. So it's all good. we got everything from Harp and uh, Carlsberg to uh, Guinness and a lot of the local stuff from St. Ambois as well. That was the Division B All-Star Game. Now moving forward is the Canadian Corporate Soccer League's Championship Game on August 20th. That's where the winners of Division A will compete against the winners of Division B. You guys can check that out live at Concordia University's Loyola campus at 9 o'clock on August 20th. 
Some of the players to watch out for are Chelsea Bonneau of Ergo Expert, as well as Megan Robinson playing middle for the Healers. They are this week's Players of the Week. that about wraps it up for this week's edition of Corner Kick. I'm your host, Jonathan Jean-Pierre. As we talked about this week in the final games leading up towards the Canadian Corporate Soccer League's championships, it's all about putting the ball in the net. And as teams jockey for position, let's check out the standings. (laughs) 